several countries in talks with Israel on moving embassies, PM says. Israel is in contact with several countries seriously considering following in the footsteps of the U.S., recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital and moving their embassies to Jerusalem, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told CNN in an interview broadcast Friday. We are now talking to several countries who are seriously considering saying exactly the same thing as the United States and moving their embassies to Jerusalem, he said. Asked to name the countries in question, Netanyahu demurred. I could tell you that but I want to because I want it to succeed, and I think there is a good chance it will. Asked about the significance of U.S. President Donald Trump's declaration on December 6, Netanyahu said, I think what it does is finally recognize a historical truth. Jerusalem has been the capital of Israel for 3,000 years from the time of King David. It has been the capital of the state of Israel for 70 years. And it is about time that the United States said and I am glad they said it this is the capital and we recognize it, and I think that is going to be followed by other countries. On Friday the head of Romania's parliament, Lovio Dragnea, said the European nation should seriously consider moving its embassy to Jerusalem. Czech Republic President Milo Zeman has said his country should move its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, but the country's prime minister, Andrei Babis, has since said he has no immediate plans to do so. Questioned on the future of Jerusalem under a future peace deal, Netanyahu said the city should remain a united, safe and secure city, noting that in the Middle East, we were just about the only ones that guarantee freedom of worship for Jews, Christians and Muslims alike. But he said he was not averse to negotiations. That is my vision of Jerusalem. Palestinians may have a different vision. They should come and negotiate. They say they want to negotiate. They are walking away from the negotiation table. Again. You want peace? Go to negotiate peace. Netanyahu spoke a day after the United Nations General Assembly overwhelmingly passed a resolution condemning the Trump administration's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital and calling on countries not to move their diplomatic missions to the city. A total of 128 countries voted in favor of the text, with 9 voting against, 35 abstaining, and 21 not showing up to vote. Netanyahu on Thursday dismissed the UN and said Israel was heartened by the large number of countries who did not vote for the resolution and stood by the truth. Israel rejects the UN decision and, in parallel, expresses satisfaction at the large number of states that did not vote for the resolution, countries that Prime Minister Netanyahu has visited in Europe, Africa and Latin America, a statement from Netanyahu's office said after the vote. Israel is grateful to President Trump for his steadfast position on Jerusalem, and thanks the nations that voted with Israel and with the truth. In an English-language video on Facebook, Netanyahu said, Israel completely rejects this preposterous resolution. Jerusalem